Choosing a new hard drive for your computer used to be a pretty large production between fiddling with jumpers, you know, master, slave, cable select, bleh, dealing with weird settings and finding somewhere to put those ugly ribbon cables. It wasn't exactly straightforward for the average user. Nowadays, though, the SATA interface has made things simple almost to the point of making expanding your storage a plug-and-play experience. You pick a capacity and speed, you connect the cables, and BAM! More space for your Steam library or your private videos. But while you were combing through all those pages of hard drives and SSDs, you might have noticed an option to look at something called a SAS drive instead of SATA. And being the intrepid shopper that you are, you clicked on it, wondering if this strange, exotic interface could give you faster load times in Battlefront or whatever. Then you quickly retreated after experiencing the sticker shock. So what is this SAS anyway, and why the heck is it so much more expensive than SATA, and could it be worth it for your personal computer? All right, so let's go back to the beginning. SAS stands for Serial Attached SCSI, which might sound familiar to you as there's an older version called Parallel SCSI, and that was a popular choice for things like CD-ROM drives way back in the day. Modern SAS connectors, however, can be difficult to find on consumer motherboards, even though they look extremely similar to SATA. In fact, SATA drives will work on a SAS controller. So then what is the difference exactly? Well, SAS can perform significantly faster than SATA for a number of reasons, one of which is the bus or the, or the communication method itself. The latest revision of SAS, revision 3 if you're keeping score at home, supports up to 12 gigabit per second transfer speeds. That's twice as fast as SATA 3 with speeds of over 22 gigabit per second expected in the year 2017. SAS also has the advantage of being full duplex, meaning that a SAS drive can send and receive data at the full speed at the same time. SATA drives, on the other hand, can only deal with full speed data in one one direction at a time. And if you're interested in a more traditional mechanical hard drive instead of an SSD, SAS drives often feature much faster rotational speeds to improve performance. It's actually pretty easy to find 15,000 RPM SAS drives, which is over twice as fast as your typical SATA hard disk would spin. But then if SAS is so great, then why don't people who build, you know, even very high-end home PCs use it much? Well, it's actually targeted more at the server market for companies that need very reliable storage that many, many people are accessing at once. So it's got more durable construction, higher throughput, and support for a large number of drives on one controller, making SAS a popular choice for high capacity servers that need to be online 24 seven, such as for larger businesses or company websites or whatever else. Unfortunately, as I've mentioned before, these additional capabilities mean that SAS drives are typically much more expensive per gigabyte than SATA. But I mean, let's say you could get your hands on a SAS capable motherboard like we did recently in this video. Would the extra performance then be worth it? Well, actually, the answer is unless you're doing some really weird stuff with your personal gaming rig, probably not. The SAS protocol is optimized, like I said, for when many users are connected to the machine accessing data at once, meaning you probably wouldn't see much real world benefit, if any, at all. But I guess it could be an interesting choice for like a home database server or something like that, which probably, probably you aren't doing. Speaking of things you probably aren't doing, if you aren't using Squarespace, there's a good chance you aren't building yourself a simple, powerful, beautiful website. They've got 24-7 tech support via live chat and email, and you can get yourself set up with a Squarespace site with all the tools for managing and hosting it in the cloud for only $8 a month. And you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. All of their gorgeous templates feature responsive design, so your website scales to look great on any device, whether it's a desktop, laptop, 
phone or watch. Actually, I, I, I don't think they have watch support yet. But I'm sure once we have an internet browser that's any good on a watch, Squarespace is going to figure that stuff out. They've got a ton of different features that are included, including every template coming with a store feature. And you can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. All you got to do is check out the link in the video description. And if you decide to go ahead and keep your Squarespace site, you can use offer code Linus to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, like it. If you disliked it, well, dislike it, I guess. If you want to check out our other channels, we've got a pretty sick lightsaber battle thing going on over on Channel Super Fun. That's either out already or coming very soon, so don't miss that. And as always, leave comments below the video if you have suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more fast as possible videos just like this one.